up beautiful people and good morning from Banawe. Check out this for my setup today. Got breakfast, tea, scrambled eggs, porridge, another egg. Got some work going on over here. And because there's no power in the rooms and the only power you can get in this homestay is in this sort of restaurant area um, that shut just after I'd had dinner last night. I didn't have a chance to charge anything or get anything ready for tomorrow. So I was up at about 5.30 this morning and getting everything charged over here. It's just a mass of cables. It's like the admin side of the vlogs. But today we're heading off to the next place. We're um, trying to fit in as much as we can before Sharon has to go back to Manila to fly home. So um, I have to pack up in a minute and then we're gonna head off on a bus to go to Sagada. Not quite sure how long it's gonna be, but it looks like a very, very cool place. Bye. Sapling? Oh, crisps. I've not had breakfast. I'm filming. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have cookies and crisps for breakfast because the bus is leaving early than we thought it was. Quick van change so we can set up a bit earlier. This journey is absolutely insane. Check these views out that we've got right now. Like this crazy valley down here. And then these clouds just like brushing the top of these mountains. Yes, please. More of this the whole way. going probably about an hour or so now and the views have just been crazy on the way here but we're just stopping at a couple of rice terraces these are called the bio rice terraces check this out And we have arrived in Sagada, probably like a two hour van ride. It was a bit too warm for my liking. And uh, we have no idea. We have no idea where we're staying or what we're doing today, but we'll figure it out, I guess. We're heading to the tourist office right now. And that's our first stop off Sagada. Good hey. morning. Um, Just run. Yeah, we just arrived, so... You have accommodation? Uh, not yet. Not yet. So, accommodations, you have it uh, down the road. Just follow the road going down. Cool. These areas, they need guide. Thank you very much. Mm. Have a nice day. Had 
and cold shower, it's downstairs. Okay. okay. Yeah, and the strongest signal of the Wi-Fi is at the living room and outside the house. Okay, okay perfect. How much is this room? It's 300 per person per night. Cool. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. sweet. Thank you. <laughs> well, that was super easily done. We just heard from Joe, a girl on our bus, that uh, the greenhouse was a cheap and nice place to stay. So we just walked straight here and they've got availability. This is our room. 300 oh, pesos a night. So that's so about nice. less than £4.50 a night each for a private room here in Sagada. Sagada already kind of has like, it has like an almost sapper feel about it for me. Uh, sapper in Vietnam is like set in the hills a bit like this and we had like really cool views and stuff and it, it just seems like a really chilled out relaxed town. I really like the feel of this place so far already. We arrived in the glorious sunshine and right now we're looking at grey clouds. There's a little bit of blue up here, but pretty grey clouds the whole way around and um, some very loud thunder. So with that foreboding weather, we thought we would just explore the local town a little bit and see if there's a museum or anything that oh, we can okay. see. The museum is... <laughs> so uh, maybe not in the museum. Plan B. We Let's have uh, plan B. wander around. Yeah. yeah, you don't normally need a plan B. You just make plan A work. Um, but you can't open the museum. No, Let's go, walk up there. Up Let's walk up here. Oh, this is like proper. We don't know what's going to happen territory now. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> Also, one of the first times it is like the early afternoon and I'm not boiling I'm not sweating and I'm just walking around outside the winds building so I think a storm is coming but I feel like well we we're just looking at photos of people in Sagada and everyone seems to be in uh, rain jackets so maybe I think uh, there's gonna be a lot of rain here it looks like we might have to just get up early and do things in the morning when it's sunny still but it feels so good it feels so good to not be boiling right now. I don't know if I told you about the bus. That was another time I wasn't boiling. It was freezing cold with the aircon blasting. I had my little micro towel and I like had that over me, but it's it's not very big. And in the end, I ended up wearing a Pac-Man poncho for the entire journey. This plastic blue, oh, everyone was laughing at me, but it was freezing. So the if you're on a bus. The rest of us were well prepared. We had jumpers and a scarf. Um, I mean, I took a towel as a blanket, but it just, it was so small. It was more like a tissue on me. Ugh. But this looks cool.
guys, we called it well. The storm has started. There's a lot more thunder. I'm glad we're not out in this right now. I mean, our hostel is probably like 100 meters down there, so we'll, we'll probably still get soaked while, while we run back to it. But if thank God. <laughs> I am not leaving until this finishes. I think this is meant to be in until late, so I guess Sharon will move before it finishes. No, no, you'd be surprised at how long I can wait. <laughs> but um, thank God we're not like half an hour's walk away or something. I'm not a fan of being in the rain with all my gear and drone and everything. take a moment just to talk about these vlogs. I know today hasn't seemed like a super crazy adventurous day and there's been quite a few of the vlogs so far in this season that have been travel days. Jeez did you guys hear that? There was lightning and a lot of thunder. It is raining a lot. Jeez! Of this season I know there has been some travel days, quite a few of them, and that is because we have tried to fit a lot in but it has meant that we've had to spend quite a bit of time travelling to each different place just to fill it to fill it as, as well as we could because Sharon was only going to be here for about two weeks and we wanted to see as much as possible and experience as much as possible together to, to see as many sides of the Philippines as we could in those two weeks. It's going to slow down a little bit from now I hope because this is the last destination that I'll be with Sharon for and then she has to fly home to work unfortunately. But what I said to myself before I came to the Philippines was I wanted to set myself a goal of filming every single day and I didn't want that to be broken. I said I was going to do it at least until Sharon went home and I'll try and do it for the rest of the trip but we'll have to see what happens. But I said I was going to film every day and I wanted to push myself and see if I could make the travel days interesting and if I could sort of bring a story together even if it wasn't necessarily going to be in the most amazing landscapes. So I hope I've been managing to do that a little bit at least. But that was the challenge I set myself. Um, there was no way I was ever going to be able to edit it every single day, even getting one like two out a week at the moment is enough because it means that I can still actually enjoy the trip as well as filming and editing but at one point on the last the last trip to the Philippines I was editing and getting a video out every other day and it was just too much, I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't feeling great in the days sometimes and I was having loads of fun but I feel like this trip I've been able to chill out a bit more, I've been journaling a lot and I think that's super important to me and my mental well-being as well. So sorry if the uploads have been a little bit slower so far in the season, but I am trying my best as well as, <clears throat> well, first and foremost, I sort of, I see myself as a traveler. The travel is what's most important to me and that's what I'm most trying to inspire, I guess, you guys to do, because you see the adventures that you can have and you can sort of just make the most of this like crazy cool world we have. But in order for me to enjoy those as well as get the videos out, I can't edit and upload. I can't edit and upload as often as I possibly could because it would just mean that I just wasn't in the right frame of mind and I wasn't like probably even physically able to, to keep up with it. So I'd rather do this and keep it going at a relatively steady pace rather than just burn out straight away. So I just want to say thank you so much to you guys for sticking with me. I know the uploads aren't coming as quick as I would like them to, but they're coming at the right pace for myself and having a good trip as well. So thank you so much for waiting for each individual vlog and watching and commenting, everything like that. I really, really appreciate it and I can't thank you enough. But I'm going to finish this one up here. I'm going to catch up with my journal. I'm going to start another edit and while it's raining just make the most of a, a chilled afternoon here in Sagada. I've got very very good vibes from this place so I want to thank you all for watching. Big love. And it feels good around here.